Oh, there's something else interesting going back to the thing. You know that, you. you know when the dog, can you hear me now? Right. Uh, there he is. Uh, okay, you know where the, you know that part in early on in the movie where uh, the thing dog is walking around the base, it's like going to the different rooms, and then it goes into that one room and you see the shadow on the wall? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, at first, I was gonna, I analyzed that, I thought that was Norris at first because uh, besides Childs, he's the only one uh, he's the only other one who wore like a turtleneck, and the person in the shadow was wearing a, obviously wearing a turtleneck. So I thought it was Childs. But I looked it up, and apparently, I think it was actually either another crew member or John Carpenter himself who did that on purpose. Like, like it was none of the actual like actors, any of the crew members. Like he did that on purpose to like confuse people to make it more ambiguous. Yeah, he used a he used somebody who wasn't actually like in there to to give that sense of paranoia and mystery. Yeah, I was like, well, that my theory is ah. out that Dor Norse was first. Be right back. It's 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 one of the best movies that sets tension and paranoia because of that you don't know who was the first infected out of the human crew members. Yep. And it just it works so well. It works so fucking well. I'm trying to think of like um any Who would be the first? I remember a movie I watched on sci-fi that actually had some pretty good practical effects and I thought was kind of scary. Abominable. The 2006 movie about the killers, the 2006 movie about a killer Sasquatch. Oh yeah, I think I saw that. I I where the dude that. gets his, the dude, one where the dude gets his face literally bitten off and the practical effects are like, um, like godlike for that one I, scene. I was big into a lot of monster movies for a while back in like the early 2000s. Rain killer, so. thank you for following. Same. You guys, you guys remember the one about the island full of like monstrous baboons? Yes, yes. Never heard of it. I think it had Ron Perlman as one of the characters in there. I think you're right. Oh my God, what was it called? Uh, fuck. Uh, let me look it up. I'm gonna assume he was the bad guy. Oh, here's one movie I, re I watched that I found on Netflix a while back. Um, uh, I don't know how many people are familiar with. It. I think you heard the one called Shrooms. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yay! I got a loose! That one I... was actually an impressive idea of a movie. It was like a psychological horror. Yeah, I, I watch I watch a lot of horror movies on net on Netflix. Here's one, here's one. Who here has seen the movie Train to Busan? Never heard of it. Nope. No. Motherfuckers, what are you doing? It is the best zombie movie ever made. Bar none. Well, I might have to look into it. Uh, I'll just watch Shaun of the Dead, sir. Nah, no, let me dead. I, no, I would say that it's better than Shaun of the Dead because it actually, like, the character growth between the different characters is masterfully crafted. It is it is a masterpiece. It, it will probably make you cry by the end of it. Chippity, chippity, chippity. That two point two. Okay. Oh. Okay, this reminded me of another one I saw. Vlad, are you familiar with this one called Stitches? Yes. So you know what this one's about, despite the title. Yes. Good! I'm glad I'm not alone! Tell I me want... you're not the only one who thinks that's the stupidest thing to call it. Yeah, I thought it was. I, I watched the movie purely because I saw one of the actresses was in Doctor Who previously, and that was when I was really into Doctor Who, so I watched the movie. Oh. Which one? I don't know. I, one. I can't remember, but it like, I was like, oh, this has ex actor actress in it. I'll watch the I'll watch the movie. I didn't realize the context of what it was about, but I'm glad that I watched it. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Son of a like... bitch, motherfucker! It's these has assholes. Has anybody seen the movie Clown? The horror movie Clown? Oh God! No. It's a good I'm one. Part of it. I it's a. Is that the one with the evil monkey? It no. Son it's, of a bitch. <laughs> Master Cody, sir. God damn it. God damn it. Ah. Uh, no, no, it's, it's about Congo. That. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Tickle Amy. Congo. Tickle Amy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was a fucking waste.
Unbelievable. Just screaming into the ether. No, clown is about, uh, it's like this dad, like, hires a clown for his son's Fuck, birthday dude. party, but, uh, the clown, uh -huh. like, dips out at the last minute, so the dad goes up into his alley and finds a old clown suit. Like, it's like a, like, 18th century clown suit, and he puts it on. And he wears it for a full 24 hours because he falls asleep on the couch, and when he wakes up, he realizes that he can't take it off. Blah, 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 movie goes on. It's revealed that it belonged to a demon called the Cloin, who would live in the mountains in, I think it was, it was, I can't remember. I think it was Switzerland. Yeah, yeah Switzerland. It lived in, it lived in the mountains in Switzerland and it would go into the, it would like call to children from the woods and lure them into the forest and then kill them and store their bodies in its cave, one for every month of winter. It sounds like Jeepers nice. Creepers with the, but with a clown. Yes, it, that's basically it. But it was, it's very well done for a low budget, like, horror movie. I was gonna say, it sounds like it, almost. It does oh, yeah. sound like it. it. It's it's like a it's like a really big culmination of it, Jeepers Creepers, which Jeepers Creepers, oh my god, I love that. I love those movies. No! I just, god, they're they're damn it. They're, they're fun. Jeepers Creepers 2 is amazing. I've never seen Jeepers Creepers, actually. Oh! You should watch it with us then. We got, we got Fuck! I've only seen I... the first one once, and the second one. I know I, I, I've seen the second one only once too. Yeah. It's uh, kind of like one of those really dumb summer teenage flicks where you know teenagers and friends are just gonna die, and then you kind of imagine this is our group of friends and we all make these stupid fucking mistakes, except we fucking wouldn't. <laughs> oh god damn it! Jeepers Creepers okay. Two is my favorite one. Dorothy even bringing up, brought up another clown-related one, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, that's a yes. that movie. That's a cult yes. classic. That's a cult classic. No. Wow, 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 wow. It's not it, it was Space Clowns. Fuck Clowns. <laughs> Fuck Clowns. <laughs> the tiny little alien clowns. Fuck those things. I hate the fucking clowns. <laughs> you hate clowns? I do not like clowns. No! It's like she said that, that like be... two seconds Attack ago. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. There's, there's a lot of things I don't like. <laughs> yeah. Let's just tell the truth. She is not clowning around. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> That's like... That... I feel that one right here. Right here. Okay, here, here's the reason why I don't like dolls. Fucking Chucky. Thank you. Right there. I feel that shit. Fuck that goddamn doll. One of the most notorious slashers in history. Okay, should I use Chucky? Want to play? Should I use one of the pea shooters? I don't know if it'll make much of a difference or not. Uh, I, 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 I saw what was that? Golden. I saw earlier that people were suggesting switching out the uh, the little mushroom for the sunflower. Oh, oh. maybe. That that might help. I hope they're right. And somebody just suggested using the uh, freeze shooter. Which one? The snow it's pea. The... the the pea one, I think. The freezy pea shooter. The one pea shooter. <laughs> The freezy pea shooter. Yeah, I understand. Wow, wow. I'm supposed to be the one with the with the with the 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 like humor of a of a prepubescent child here. Bliss, I'm tired. stop. I can stop do what I want. Stop stepping on my. Oh, that's my only characteristic. You can't steal that from me. I haven't had I much. Bliss, I haven't had much character development in the cinematic universe. That's my only trait. You can't take that away from me. I'm an actor and I do what I want. I don't want to go the way of Malekith from Thor the Dark World. Glad I hate to, break, I hate to burst your bubble, but uh, you're not the only one who does that. Yeah. yeah. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Curses. My only weak, my weakness. <laughs> I heard weak ass. You, you, yeah, so did I. Hey, uh. Yada yada does it. But, um, let's see, I don't blame you for not liking Chucky. I couldn't even sit and watch that child's play 
movie series when I was younger. And, but you know one movie that um, scared my mother? Hmm. Uh, Exorcist. <clears throat> Oh god, yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I, here's the thing! So I, I had to sit down and watch to just to get an understanding. Okay, this movie scared my mom so much that she couldn't sleep in her own bedroom for a month. She she wasn't exaggerated about that. She shared rooms with her older sister for a month after that. So I'm like, okay, what is so scary about this movie? I sit down and I watch it. I know what it's basically about, and... The most disturbing thing I really saw, other than the, yeah, the 360 head and the vomit from the demon-possessed kid, um, or the child-possessed whatever, the, you know what I mean. Uh -huh. Um, I think the only disturbing thing that kind of threw me off was hearing, Your mother sucks cucks in hell! <laughs> <And I'm> like, <laughs> Your mother sucks cucks okay. in hell! I and mean, that is- park. holy crap! That went from zero to a thousand in less than a few seconds, and I was not expecting it from a movie of that day and age! <laughs> exactly. the <laughs> movie where she got the period. Jesus Christ! I saw the movie with my brother, and I was incredibly bored. You were bored? Yeah, it, 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 it really draws out too long, and I hear that's the complaint with, say, the movie Aliens, is that it draws out too long. But I'm like, no, I... It didn't um, help The Exorcist, but whereas I would argue with Aliens, if you love the tech, if you love the weapons, and you like to see the, these characters bob before they hit the oh shit meter, then I love the draw out for the Aliens movie, because you get to check out the Sulaco, and all the toys they get to play with, and the exosuits, and all the guns! Look at all those amazing guns they're gonna play with the Aliens when they get down there! Yeah, so I don't care what people say. I think the draw out is worth it in that movie. Holy but shit! Just, Even the cactus doesn't. I should have stuck with the cactus the whole time. I thought it only just shoots in the <laughs> air. Um, it it the the it's from a different age of cinematography when like it. That's one of the problems with one of the quote unquote greatest horror movies of all time, which was made by Alfred Hitchcock, The Birds. Oh god, The Birds! <laughs> and that was based off a true event. Yeah, it, Wait, it, it was? Yes. Yep. I did not know that. Uh, but the but... funny thing is about these movies, a lot of them were inspired by true events or true stories or mm -hmm. legends so that were based off real events. It, it's scary. Son of a bitch, I should have planted one on the lily pad. <laughs> it's, it's a, it, like, hearing the birds, hearing about the birds and the exorcist and stuff like that, it's I like... Need one more son. One more <laughs> son. Come on. <laughs> Goldie, I'm here. You just gotta believe. You just gotta I believe. believe. Even you. I believe. Oh. Have you ever played oh, Parappa the Rappa? Oh, I've heard of that one. I've seen people play that game too, so yeah, I know what you're talking about.